Barely a week after the release of three female Alvorian soldiers by Malian authorities, the head of the military junta, Colonel Asimi Goita, is demanding a compensation for the release of the remaining 46 soldiers. Colonel Asimi Goita made it clear on the country's national television on Saturday that he would like a mutually beneficial solution to the standoff over the soldiers as opposed to a one way solution that consists of acceding to the Ivorian demands without any compensation for Mali. Since military takeover two years ago, ousting former President Ibrahim Boubacar Keita, whose son Karim is in Ivory Coast along with former government ministers Tienen Kulibali and Igor Diara. Goita wants the return of these political figures living in Ivory Coast in exchange with the release of the 46 detained Ivorian soldiers. The arrest of the Ivorian soldiers has fueled tensions between both West African nations. Malian authorities have accused them of being mercenaries, while the Ivorian counterpart says they were unfairly detained after being sent to provide backup for the UN peacekeeping mission in Mali, MINUSMA. However, Malian prosecutors have since charged them with alleged conspiracy and attempting to harm state security and remanded them in custody.